Hello all and welcome to this AWS tutorial. In our tutorial today, I will provide a brief overview on AWS Firewall Manager. Let us begin with what is AWS Firewall Manager or AFM? It is a security management service which allows you to centrally configure, manage firewall rules across your accounts in an AWS organization. There are a couple of key words that are part of the sentence, right? The first one is AWS organization. That means you need to have an AWS organization to leverage AWS firewall manager. And the intention is to kind of have a centralized uh, management, which allows you to configure rules, you know, centrally, and manage them centrally to ensure that they are applied across your accounts, right? So what happens as a result of leveraging AWS organization and having several accounts as part of that organization is that it makes it easy to bring new applications and resources into compliance by enforcing a common set of security rules. This also simplifies your administration and maintenance tasks across multiple accounts and resources. For example, WAF rules, Shield, Amazon VPC security groups. And most importantly, it also provides centralized monitoring of DDoS attacks. What are some of the prerequisites for you to leverage AFM? As we discussed first, you need an AWS organization. And you need to have an account which is a member of this AWS organization. Now you need to associate an AFM to either the master account of your AWS organization, or it could potentially be associated with a member account as well, as long as it has permissions that are equivalent to that of the master account. Whichever account that you choose, whether it's a master account or the member account that you choose to associate with Firewall Manager will be called as Firewall Manager Administrator Account. And most importantly, you need to enable AWS Config for your accounts and regions in which your resources are provisioned or will be provisioned. Now, AWS Firewall Manager has certain quotas or limits. Now, this is the URL that you need to refer to. I would definitely recommend that you uh, visit this particular URL. We will review through it right now as well, right? So this is that particular page. And this talks about our AFM quotas. These are some of the default quotas on the number of entities per account, right? And this table right here actually talks about it. So I will not go into all the details. Feel free to you know, review through this table, but there are a couple of things that I would like to bring to your attention. So for example, AWF WAF rule groups per firewall manager administrator account. So that is 100. Or total web ACL capacity units, so WCUs for rule groups in an AWS WAF policy 1500. If you remember in my WAF video, I have talked about it as to what is a WCU. So if you don't know, please go back and look at the WAF video, okay? Uh, there are a couple of other things over here. For example, primary security groups per com uh, common firewall manager policy one. So several of these default quotas that are available. Now some of some benefits and uh, pricing for AFM. I think the benefits should be obvious by now. First is of course centralized management right across your AWS organization. And the second is compliance of security rules across new existing accounts and applications. As far as the pricing is concerned, right? Charges incurred by AFM are the ones that uh, are by its underlying service, right? Or services, for example, WAF or AWS config. And this particular URL actually talks about pricing. So refer to this URL. I'm going to kind of review that briefly right now. So this is that same URL right here. 
and if you see there are three uh, types of protection policy one for waf one for shield and other one for amazon bpc security groups and they are right here at the bottom right so these three are the three different policies that you see if you scroll further down for the waf protection policy it is $100 per policy per region right for global amazon cloud plant locations is the same amount for shield there are no uh, no charge per policy per region again no charge per policy per region and for security group protection over here for vpc security group is again $100 per region per policy similar to this one right and for advanced shield is again $100 per policy per region of course these uh, amounts can change in the future this is as of today when i'm recording this video now right here at the bottom of this page there are several pricing examples right so i would recommend that you review through them uh, let's look at this first example right here this is one of the simplest examples right so in this first example they are talking about afm policy with one single account so we just read on the top that is hundred dollars per re per policy per region so it's only one single account assuming we have um, one region as well so this is basically aws firewall manager charges hundred dollars per re per month for the policy because you have one policy so it's right here okay so for one one policy one account the second thing that we have over here is the aws configuration item and rule evaluations so imagine or assume that you have hundred uh, configuration items right here if you see and 100 rule evaluations right so uh, in, it's in one account and per configuration item you are going to be charged 0 0.003 dollars and per rule evaluation you're going to be charged 0 0.001 dollars right so that will add up to 30 cents and 10 cents respectively along with that let's say you also create a single aws web uh, acl and a rule right so it is five dollars per web acl per month so that adds up right here and it is one dollar per rule per month so you have one rule per account this is only one account so that's one dollar so all of this adds up to 106 dollars and 40 cents per month so this is how your calculation happens now of course you can complicate this further ahead by adding more rules by adding more accounts, et cetera. And some of these uh, examples right here at the bottom, as you see, is with seven accounts and you can complicate this further ahead as well, right? And of course, the amount will increase accordingly. If you want with Shield, as over here, this is seven accounts with Shield, then that will go further up or maybe further down, I guess. This is with Security Group, this is almost $100. So there are several of these examples right here. Now, there's one another topic that I want to discuss with you is what happens when you decide that you want to close your AFM administrator account. And I actually happened to stumble upon this. So I thought I'll share it with everyone. Right. A lot of times we leverage a service, but uh, we don't know what happens if I if you discontinue the service or, you know, if you delete this particular uh, account or. I mean, you don't know what are the repercussions or what exactly AWS is going to do. So in this case, I happened to stumble upon this and this is a pretty uh, simple, you know, verbiage right here. So if you choose to close your AWS Firewall Manager Administrator account, now remember, as I mentioned earlier, you choose one of your AWS organization account and associate AFM to that, whichever account that you choose, to associate with AFM is going to be your AWS Firewall Manager Administrator account. We just spoke about it some time back, right? So if you close this, okay, without revoking that account, what AWS is going to do is, it's going to revoke that account's administrator access from Firewall Manager, okay? And after it does that, all Firewall Manager policies apply to any account previously governed by the administrator account will be deactivated and no policy protection will be available or will be applied to these accounts. The good part over here is that AWS actually retains this policy data for 90 days, 
right? And it gives you basically a 90 day window to think about it. And let's say if you uh, don't take any action in those 90 days, your 90 day video, uh, window expires, right? In that case, uh, it will basically permanently delete all firewall manager policy data for that particular account. So keep in mind that you have 90 days, right? If not, you lose it. So you got to snooze within 90 days, otherwise you lose. So I hope guys that uh, you like this video and this video is helpful and do provide your feedback and I will see you shortly in some other video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.